Hi everyone. The fifth canon from the diverse canons on the royal theme from Bach's musical offering is a modulating canon. And as with all of the canons in this group, this one was originally presented as a puzzle canon, which when realized contains the canon in the lower two parts against the version of the royal theme in the upper part. As with many puzzle canons, here the solution is suggested by the two clefs on the lower stave. Here the bass clef indicates the pitches of the leader's notes and the tenor clef those of the follower. As their name suggests, modulating canons move through different keys with each subsequent appearance. Bach's canon begins in C minor with the leader initially arpeggiating the tonic triad before the follower begins a fifth higher with the minor dominant triad. The canon then proceeds for eight bars before the next cycle now in D minor begins. This then continues for eight bars and the next cycle begins in E minor and so on. Although each cycle begins a major second higher than the previous, they also contain within their bars a move through the key a fifth above the current cycle's root note, thereby producing an ascending cycle of fifths progression. To achieve these modulations, Bach has written the two canons against an overall descent in the royal theme, which initially moves chromatically from C minor's fifth degree to its second, before then descending from D minor's fourth degree to its first. The final descending D minor tetrachord resembles C minor's descent, but without the chromaticism. C minor's descent also includes G minor's chromatic tetrachord and D minor's tetrachord, thereby already suggesting the keys to which this cycle will move. Through the initial three bars, C minor is established, with the canonic parts essentially interacting with each other in thirds and sixths, and the leader and the upper part also essentially moving with the same intervals. These same interval combinations between the parts are then essentially maintained for the remainder of the cycle, with G minor being tonicized by an extended 251 cadence, and D minor being reached here through the pivot chord of G minor, before then being established under the upper part's D minor descent. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.